What's your name? Hi. I'm Shakira. Shakira, where are you calling us from? Oakland, California. You're in, okay, can you wipe your screen a little bit? Okay. <laughs> Do you need light? Yes, please. There we go. Okay. What's your name, baby? I'm Shakira. Shakira, where you calling from? California, what part? Oakland. Where? Oakland. Oakland, California. How old are you? Where too short to keep you call from? I'm 38. 38. 38. And I'm single. And you're single. With the 11 year old. I have an 11 year old son. 11 year old son. What do you do for a living, Shakira? I am an independent um, jewelry maker. Independent jewelry maker? Yes, and custom mask maker. That's how you pay your bills? Um, no, not really. How do you pay your bills? I have some nice guy friends. But they're not trying to marry me. So it's different male friends that pay your bills? Yeah. You have sex with those guys? Not not all of them. How many different male friends pay your bills? At least three. Okay. So you have three different guys that are paying for the home that you live in, and you want to meet a new guy to take you seriously? Yeah, because um, I don't feel like they're going to be around forever. Okay, that's true. They probably won't be around forever. But why in the hell would a man date you when you got three different men paying your bills? They don't live there. They don't come to my house. It's not about living there. There's three different men that are taking care of you. So if I am a guy that has anything to offer, if I'm a guy with a great job, good looking, treat you well, not just want to have sex with you, why would I want to be with a woman that can't take care of herself and three other men, not even men you have children with, because then that would be like maybe a child support. That would be explainable. Why would that guy That's sign true. up to date you? Because I'm almost done with college, and I'll be a lawyer, and I'll have something to bring to the table. And I'll, I can let them go. Okay. I mean, I, I want to be gender neutral. Um, when I'm on the show and if you were a guy that was saying all this stuff to me I would say the same exact thing I just said there's no room for a decent man to be in your life but I don't have they don't have time for me listen That's you're right guy. you're right but at the end of the day these men are you are until you get it together you're blocking your blessing for a quality man no quality man would date you knowing that there's three other guys paying your bills. Like, you can't even take care of yourself. But what do I do until I'm done with college? Girl, I'm not a psychiatrist. I don't know what to tell you you could do. I'm just trying to tell you. I mean, look, let me, let me keep asking you some questions. So you're in college right now? Yeah, my mom just passed away. It's only been four weeks. I was taking care of my mom for the past six years. Okay, sorry to hear about your mother. So, is that so? Were you paying your bills ever at one point in time, or is there? Yeah. Okay, so Before, I actually, I actually got diagnosed with grave disease um, in 2017, and I had four radiation treatments, and I got sick and ill, and that's when I um, became dependent on these guys. Before then, I actually worked at a hair salon. Okay, so, so basically you had a hardship and then these three these we said three men stepped up to help you? Yes. Were any of them ever men you were in relationships with? No. You were never in relationships with any of them. And one of them, like, we've never been intimate at all. He's like really just always there for me, like vehicle wise. He always makes sure I have a vehicle. Okay. That one is a friend, and then you're being serious too, right? Are you joking me? I'm serious. I'm I'm, I'm dead serious. Okay. And two of the and other I, guys. And I, I, the other and one of the other guys, he's almost about seventy years old. He keeps telling me he's not going to be living a long time. He's seventy years old now. You and you've been intimate with him. Yes. 
And then there's another guy. Yes. How old is that man? He's in between his 60s. And that's another guy you'd be intimate, you're also intimate with? Only about three times. So what are you looking for tonight, Shakira? What are you looking for? I'm looking for some advice on, like, I want to be with one, just one person. Like, I'm tired of being, like, dealing with three people just to get what's equivalent to one man. Because none of them have time for me. I understand that because they have to pay the bills. So it's like, we don't go out on dates or anything. They're always working. Right. And that's what I was saying in the beginning. I think you're in a position, any guy that can date you, right, that has their stuff together, they wouldn't, it would make no sense for them to do that with you. Now when you have two sugar daddies and another guy, and you know, um, 70, 60, I mean, these are older men that, you know, you're doing stuff with. You, I, again, I like to say, I want to be clear. I am not a relationship expert and I am not a therapist. And maybe you should consider going to a therapist because it just doesn't make sense. There's no reason why a decent guy would step in and treat you the way I think you deserve to be treated, but you got to treat yourself a certain way. Oh. Thank you for being honest. Yeah, I think, I mean, you went through a lot. I lost my mom. That's a life changing situation, unless you've been through that. I mean, I mean, all honestly, when my mother died, I was a wreck. Thank God I had a father who just literally carried me through that year of life because it was a really hard year for me. So I do understand that, right? That's a life changing situation. So there is some grace. But I think before your mother passed, these men were in your life, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's not just like one of them even helped with that one of them even helped pay with laying her to rest. Right, right. And here's the deal, you know, we all have people that come into our lives and they help us out. I'm just saying if you want to be in a relationship with one man, right? With yes. one man and one man only, you got some you got some life sorting out you gotta do. Got some people to X out, right? Well, you got to sort some things out. Let's just think about it. Like, you know, again, if you, there's just no reason why, uh, uh, let's say a doctor, attractive, wants a wife, would treat you good, would, would take you seriously. That's kind of what it really comes down to. Like a, a quality man is not going to take you seriously in this, in this moment of life. And how long have you been sleeping with older men? When I turned about 32. How old are you? 38 and one month. So for the last six years? Yes. And they pay for your college too? That was about 10 other guys, but they're all deceased. I, I, I got four majors under my belt. I graduate with a degree in law from Berkeley um, um, University and Academy Art University as a fashion journalist, English teacher also, and then a creative writer. So all so my life, I've basically been taken care of by men. You said 10 other guys paid for your college? Yeah, I, I don't owe any student loans or anything. So so basically, men, men, you've been getting money from men for a long time? Yes. Okay. Um, and you've never been in a relationship? No. I hope this is not disrespectful, but only because you said 10 guys paid for your college. You have three guys right now paying your paying your bills have you ever been a prostitute no okay that's what i'm saying some of them don't want to be intimate and it's kind of confusing to me are all these men older yes they've always been at least seven years older than me the last eight years they've always been now they're like up in their ages but before i never would go over seven years older than me so what kind of man you you looking for, girl? I just want somebody that wants to get up and go to work every day or help me um, raise my son better. Um, maybe somebody who don't want kids, because I really don't want no more kids. One's enough. Um, somebody that wants to travel. Okay, your son's father, is he in his life? No. 
No, he's not. And my son told me he's tired of me waiting on him. He feels like I'm waiting for him to come back. And he told me it's time for me to move on with my life. Okay. Have you ever been in a relationship, Shakira? No, I wouldn't call it a relationship. I mean, so you never had a relationship? No. I'm just curious. What's your relationship like with your father? Oh, it's it's not good. I've been on my own since I was 12. Okay, okay. Yeah, here's the deal. I'm not a therapist. Have you ever been to a therapist? Only one time. You should sign but up. We didn't discuss, we, but we didn't discuss my, like, my, about me. It was more about, like, mental health issues. Well, yeah, I think okay. you should have some more conversation because you have a lot going on. A lot going on. And if you really want a desire to, you know, before you attract that type of guy, honey, you're going to have to get some things together within your because own Because I always get guys telling me that you're so sexy, you're so beautiful. That's all I get every day, all day long from all kind of guys, like every race. And like, like I could go to the gas station and be like, oh, you're beautiful. I'll pay for your gas. Like, well, it's, listen, like my it's, it's clear that you don't have problem attracting men. You already told us 10 guys pay for your college degree. You got three guys paying your rent right now. That's 13 men that have financially helped you in life, but they're not wiping you up. They're not making you with their girlfriends. I, just, I did get I did get a ring, but I gave it back. Who gave how long was the man that gave you a ring? Um that was in 2010. He gave me a ring and for Valentine's Day and by my birthday in July I gave it back. How old was he? I was twenty eight and he was about nineteen. So you were eight ten years older than him? Yes. He had a daughter and I had a son. So did you have sex with him? Yes. Okay. You must be amazing in the bedroom. You have to be. You must be amazing in the bedroom. He bought me a ring at sleep with me one time. But 19, 28, he could let girl. He wasn't mentally ready for me. I can't right now. I believe that. I think so I told him, I, 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 didn't want, I didn't want him to think I was a, a gold digger, so I gave him his ring back. Everybody said I should have kept it, but it didn't feel right. I because I wasn't there for the ring. I was there for the love. You were, you were there for the love. Okay, so you date younger and you date older. Yes. Okay. Well, I just, listen, I honestly don't think I want to present you to the guys. I don't think you're in a position right now. I think you got to handle some some business you got three different men paying your bills there's no reason why a quality guy is going to take you serious okay and i think that i think you know i you Just should be really honest, I can take it. you should really seriously think about going to a therapist okay and talking about these guys say what and, and tell tell him about these guys. I'm not saying I'm saying talking about the guys, but I'm just saying is you. What you're saying is this: you have men that financially take care of you, but they're not in relationships with you, right? They don't have time to be with you and things of that nature, which actually makes sense. The more digging we did, we learned that these are older guys. You said one was 70, one's around 60, so that's the quintessential sugar daddy age. But then you want a quality guy that is gonna say I want to be with you seriously it just doesn't make sense why a guy would do that okay but we gotta go even if I cut the other three off excuse me even if I were to cut the other three off I mean yeah but I think you have deeper you have deeper issues even if you cut those other three off I still think you should go talk to someone because you said you had ten guys that paid for your um, um your your school for college. So I feel like you're used to men paying for you for stuff. Yeah, I, I am, and my dad was the same way. Like I'm a dad's girl. I grew up with my my grandmother on the week during the week, and my dad had me on the weekend. Well, I asked you about the relationship with your dad. You said it wasn't good. As, as as I got older, because I felt like he can't provide for me anymore. He could what? 
he couldn't provide the things that I wanted anymore. It got to the point where he was like, like, you're too expensive. And what age was that? You He's like, you want platinum? He was like, you want when I was 17. Okay. Have you ever taken care of yourself financially? I got my first job at 12. Okay. All right. Um, listen, I, I, I can't do it. I can't present you. I think you got some things you got to get together, to be honest. Well, but thank you for having me. No, I appreciate you for coming on. Thank you. All right. Bye, I baby. watch you all the time. That's why. I appreciate you. Bye, baby. Okay. Bye, baby. Pray um, for me.